Hey, I'm Reed. This is Brad. Hi. And we're here to talk today about uh, some terms. So imagine you're about to go into a meeting and talk about NetApp technology, and you don't know anything about NetApp, but you have to pretend you do. This is going to be some, some content that hopefully helps you. So what uh, I think we, uh, you, know, uh, you know, if you come from an EMC background, you might hear, uh, maybe you would hear LUN, uh, but in, in NetApp, a lot of people talk about aggregates. Right. What's an aggregate? So an aggregate is a, it's a pool of disks, basically. Um, and your volumes live within your aggregates. Okay. So why would you want to pull a bunch of disks together? Like, why do that? You have to. <laughs> I mean, okay. So uh, go, we'll go into RAID DP. Okay. Dual, RAID dual parity. So you have to have at least three drives. Okay. You can lose two of those drives and still be up and running. Okay. Um, so to create an aggregate, you need at least three drives, um, but you can have, you know, with the newer OS, and there's no more 16 terabyte bar barrier. Okay. You, depending on the model, you could have a petabyte volume if you wanted. So why would you have multiple aggregates on one filer? What would that allow you to do versus just one? You may beat uh, performance. Okay. Depending on the app that's running on one particular volume. Okay. Um, you may have a heavy, heavy hitting, uh, say, Outlook or whatever, Exchange, um, Oracle, Oracle sure, yeah, you, you, you want them to have their own aggregate. So the, the, you typically... So that they don't affect performance of the other aggregates. Oh, uh, so if you're running like VDI. Right. Or you're running some kind of large VMware workload, or maybe a large Oracle workload. Even if it's just to, for your own sanity, to keep things organized. Okay. So aggregate is a collection of drives that's dedicated to an app or multiple apps. Depending sure. sort of on the performance profile. All depends on what you want to do. Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully this has been this will help you out if you're going into a meeting talking about NetApp technology. You're going to hear some of these terms and you'll be kind of educated in advance and prepared. Uh, and we'll talk about what kind of followers you could put inside of a cluster on All the right. next one. So thanks for watching.